With more than 40% of Iowans still undecided, candidates are holding last-minute rallies to try to convince these caucus goers, like here just outside of Des Moines, for a rally for Elizabeth Warren. A chance for all these voters to see and hear the candidates speak one last time and possibly make their decision. I am here to try to get as familiar as I can with all the candidates so I can make an educated choice tomorrow night. Uh, I make a point of seeing all the candidates. We're very fortunate here in Indianola, or Iowa in particular, to see all the candidates, meet them up close. Elizabeth is in my top two or three, and I'm trying to finalize my decision. My wife's up, uh, supporting her. My son's also undecided, so we're here to see her in person. Just a short drive away from Elizabeth Warren's rally, Pete Buttigieg is also making one of his final attempts at convincing those undecided voters. I'm trying to decide between three different candidates, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, and uh, uh, Amy Klobuchar. I just don't know, and that's my problem. So I'm just looking for something to motivate me one, one way or the other. I think it's important that we support the candidate, who, whoever it is, but tomorrow I'm definitely going to be in Pete's corner, um, and if he's not viable, uh, I would probably go to someone similar like Biden or Klobuchar. The caucus process means that voters' second choices could turn the whole result completely around, adding a layer of uncertainty to an already unpredictable vote. That's our Kathy Van Gorgestani.